Hello you guys, how's it going? My name is Vanessa. Welcome to my channel, Make a Love 13. You can call me Nessa and today I'm going to be doing a soft girly makeup look. If you want to see how I do this makeup and the product I use, stay tuned. We are going to start with the Uha Glow from ELF. Um, this has SPF 30. And it gives my skin a very nice glowy look. I already have um, a serum on my skin and I'm under my eyes. So uh, this is what I'm going to do. I like this product because it's very nice and it makes my skin look so nice and glowy. I love it, guys. Um, if you don't know, I um, have mature skin. I'm 48. And uh, yeah, my skin has gone through um, some changes lately, not much. Uh, my entire life, I just have a kind of a combination skin, more, more so on the normal side now. My skin has a lot of discoloration now and freckles because of the sun I use skin products and um, for a few years I've been doing so I like a skin regimen trying to minimize the issues um, I used to have a more pronounced pores in my opinion now they're not so bad the texture had obviously changed but I believe if you have a good regimen on your skin, the earliest, the better, because um, you can, I mean, you're not going to stop aging, of course, but you can do better. Your skin can look much better. Um, if you protect your skin from the UV light, um, that's very important because that's one of the main reasons your skin looks older <laughs> and you get more wrinkles and more um discolorations or actually more uh dark spots is what i'm talking about some products that i have used they always advise you to wear um spf and i like to use one that it's 50 or more right now i'm using this because i'm not going anywhere but if I had to go out, I use my regular um, SPF 50 or more. And yeah, um, I try to hydrate my skin before I go to bed. I don't have a lot of products on my skin anymore. I don't, for me, I think less is more. So I just keep my, try to keep my skin hydrated, moisturized, and kind of glowy as well. I'm on the face there. Sometimes I like a mask, sometimes I like it to look more uh, dewy, depends the makeup I choose, um, and foundations I choose, or products. But yeah, this is not about skincare anyway, so, <laughs> but take care of your skin, drink a lot of water, liquids help you to have your skin more, look more hydrated. Anyhow, um, today we're going to be using these Too Faced Born This Way Natural Nudes, um, I love colorful makeup, guys, but nudes are something uh, for every day, and most people, I feel like, like uh, very soft, neutral, everyday makeup looks. Not everybody like those very colorful, loud makeup looks that I like to do most of the time, because that's what I like. I like color. Anyhow, so we're going to go and create a soft makeup look. The base I'm going to be using um, a drugstore. I had two. I'm not sure which one to use. This is the newest one from Pretty Smart. I got this one from Walmart. And the Joa, I had it for a while. So probably I should use this one just to finish it. Because <laughs> I don't want my products to get bad. This one, I had used it many times in... Um, Let's see how it works today, because it tends to be very good, right? But at the same time, when you 
make a mistake and try to kind of clean it it's not as easy so that's a good thing i guess to keep your eyeshadows you know right there kind of glue on your eyelid i feel sometimes i even use it like in my eyebrows because i had to do my eyebrows too i had to create an eyebrow because as you see i have very thin brows and that's because you know back in the days <laughs> we used to like um very thin brows and I used to have very nice, decent, thick brow, but I mess it up, guys. And the older you get, I feel like your eye, um, your eyelashes and your eyebrows kind of get thinner, right? I don't know if that happened to you if you have my age or older. And um, but we're gonna go with the brows. I have a very inexpensive Essence uh, brow pencil, and yeah, I like this one. It's a little bit waxy though, not so waxy like other drugstore makeup uh, brows are, brow pens I have used. But um, yeah, I like the color. It's not too dark, it's not too red, it's not too cool tone either. Like, I like it. So we're gonna just finish both brows and i'll be right back okay so uh, the eyebrows are done um what i'm gonna start doing it's um let's see let me clean my brushes a little bit uh, i like this very light kind of pinky color it's called petal Kind of pinky peachy and i'm just gonna swipe that here it looks actually more orangey on my skin which is weird i don't know why there it goes orangey peachy actually maybe that's the color but um it looks quite different but not bad i like it so that's how we're doing i'm gonna clean my brush and i'm gonna go with this very light pale color Just on the brow bone right there and a little bit on the inner corner. I'm using the same brush. I just clean in between.
really excited with the uh, wing, the wing I did with the eyeshadow. So uh, we will just clean it. We're just gonna clean it a little bit because I really didn't like it how it came out. I got mm, too crazy about it, and uh, we just clean it like that. And um, I have a little bit of a like a little bit of semi hooded eyes i would say especially on this corner right here so my eyeshadows never look very nice and sharp my liners there so we're gonna get probably i wanted to add maybe this color Right on top of that brown. And I said soft, right? <laughs> and I never go with what I said, I guess. Kind of blend that lush line right there a little bit. Probably for some people, this was still not very soft, but yeah this is my version of soft makeup <laughs> because i really do really bright colors okay so um i got uh let's see let's go with this kind of gold pinkish beige color not pinkish kind of like more beige gold Let's say this does what I wanted to do. Mm -hmm. It's soft, I would say. Right? If I see that the colors are not as soft as I like, I'm going to use a little bit of this very uh, light version. I mean, like um, beige in color, like almost white <laughs> on top. So the color doesn't look so dark and orangey, I would say. Peachy. We're going to put lashes and I'll be right back. Guys, I had the lashes and the lashes always does everything for the make. You know, um, definitely. If you do in your eyeshadows, a very pretty looks, put a pair of lashes. Because honestly, you're not going to regret it. I really love to add lashes, fake lashes. My lashes are very short and thin. If you have beautiful lashes, you might not need to, but honestly, <laughs> fake lashes does the trick, guys. It just make it more glamorous. It make it more finished. Like you do your makeup and take, you took your time doing it, even if you didn't. Um, that's my opinion. Let's see. So we are going to do now the face and then we're going to do a little bit of eyeshadow and mascara and mascara on the lashes, top and bottom, just to blend with the uh, fake ones. And yeah, you didn't have to use a very dark black hash or very crazy um, liner, with liner. You should can choose just a dark brown or a dark eyeshadow and that one did the trick actually it looks very dark even still don't know if i want to just make it smaller or anything we'll see it in the end i'm gonna use a concealer from the pretty smart uh brand this is pretty brand new brand <laughs> at walmart and the products i really like them so this color it's uh kind of like probably a little darker than my skin probably but i like it because uh i have dark on their eyes they kind of hollow and you know you lose all your 
fat under your eyes too <laughs> there's so many bad things that happen when you start getting old of course <laughs> but you get wiser right you get wiser and sometimes it's like i feel like you know you have to embrace embrace your your age it doesn't matter what is your age you know embrace it you got wrinkles and problematic skin embrace it if you had the money to do treatments or botox or surgery whatever just do it why not i mean do whatever makes you feel happy of course whatever is in your budget so now it looks a little better i just gonna leave it there a little bit and then we're gonna use a beauty blender with a little bit of a setting spray <laughs> and then we are going to go I not i don't know i feel like this is gonna be a soft makeup look so i shouldn't make this too heavy on the skin so i'm gonna use the same concealer in certain areas and i choose you know conceal certain things here and there discolorations and stuff why not and not use um, a whole lot of foundation or anything because it just you know less is more sometimes i don't mind that much my freckles anymore but they, they don't get covered anyway so you know so i'm gonna get my beauty blender i'm gonna wet it with water i have a spray bottle here so it doesn't get too you know runny and then i'm gonna go and get and grab my setting spray so this is the pretty smart brand again drugstore doesn't have the best sprayer but I don't want my fit to look too heavy and I'm not cutting this off the um, the video so you can see what I do and it looks pretty natural actually I just have to blend a little bit more I love foundations but sometimes especially if it's hot outside there's no point to apply foundation because I feel like no no it's just crazy when it's too hot um i tested different brands over the years you know and sometimes i just rather have a little bit of makeup on my skin on summer and when it's hot so i have to look close because i'm kind of blind let's see how this did it kind of evens out a little bit my skin of course i have a lot of <laughs> fine lines and stuff on my skin now but we're just gonna do it like that okay mm -hmm. i don't want to put too much show. And it looks very glowy. You can leave it like that if you want, but you can apply powder. I I don't know what I wanted to do. Let me see. All right, so I decided I wanted to use my one uh, my one size uh, pink powder. I really really like this powder. It does a very nice in um, making my skin look matte, and it's pretty nice too for my under eyes. So yeah. You can even already see the difference. You see? Very nice powder. I really, really enjoy this powder a lot. Especially for the forehead. <laughs> it's always quite oily. This is my oil. It, it gets oily. 
especially if I have products that are not very matte. The rest of the skin is actually normal. Okay, so I kind of dust mostly in the center under the forehead, and I'm going to do now a. Yeah, I didn't close the door, and now the air city turned on, and it kind of closed the door. <laughs> well, so I'm gonna use my old and beloved a dual glow Natasha Denona Rayo blush. It's just the most beautiful kind of fishy has this pinky nice glow that I love so I just love this I don't feel like the version after the newer version not newer version it's just that I remember going to the store and look for this one and the look the the color looks different so I saving this as much as I can even I I hit pan already I really like this. It's just beautiful and glowy, and um, I love it. I love it, guys. I love, love, love. And we're gonna go with those lash lines with a little bit of eyeshadow. Mm, a little bit, not much. Kind of like on this side right here with this scar. And of course, we are going to do lashes up top and bottom. And this is from Essence, like a boss. I, it's okay. It's an okay mascara. No mascara is going to do what a, a fake lashes does, but I mess it up right there. But it does the job and what I do wanted to do is just to kind of blend mix together my lashes and the fake lashes you can do this um, before you start your before you're applying your lashes and you can do it uh, uh, right after I like to do it right after and it just kind of dark my lashes a little bit and that's it. I'm not looking for anything voluminous, you know, with this. The lips, I have this uh, Huda Beauty Lip Contour and Flirt. And Huda Beauty lip products and a liner, lip liners are my favorite. So I'm trying to overline my lips, of course. And this color, at least, is perfect for my skin tone. And to do this, oh, uh, this um, overlap the lips. <laughs> you know what I mean. We want a fake, thicker lips. And this formula, it's just perfect. It's just the right consistency, right, guys. I don't know the newer versions. This is, a, I had this for a few years, guys. And I don't want to, you know, finish it because it's just one of my favorites. On the lips I have, I think it's this PYT brand from Target. It's a gloss and a lipstick. And... It has a nice soft rosy tone. And yes, I don't match the lipstick with the lip liner. Um, so yeah. 
And let's go try the gloss part. Oh yeah, I like the gloss better. Yeah, definitely I like the gloss better. Very nice and comfortable. Look at those lips. That look kind of juicy, huh? <laughs> I like it. So yeah, guys, uh, sorry I, I was all over the place. I just want to show you kind of like a soft, uh, girly makeup look every day for me. Oh, well, <laughs> for me. <laughs> and yeah, you saw the products I use. Um, products that I really like, honestly. Um, my favorite item here is definitely the um, Natasha Denona Rayo. I really love this uh, blush, guys. I had it for many, many years since she released this the first time. Um, so, definitely a good one. And of course, this Too Faced uh, Natural Nudes Palette. It shows great. I got this one at TJ Maxx, I think, for a lot less that they sell in other stores or uh, the Too Faced website. You know, with Too Faced, it's a hit and a miss, but this palette is definitely very good one of my favorite ones from then um i feel like all the eyeshadows work perfectly good i tried it before uh no hit or miss or anything it's just definitely a good palette and this setting powder from uh one size it's just one of my favorites i even like the packaging it's like baby pink the uh, powder is pink it shows a loose uh, ma magnifi magnifying uh powder i would say um yeah and it's great for your under eyes because it will not you know it doesn't feel like dry i mean it's powder it's gonna definitely make your under eyes drier but not cakey or nothing or anything like that um yeah yeah what can i say I really, really like this I make a look, guys. I hope that you guys like it too. Please subscribe, follow, like. I do um, girly make a hauls. You, you guys probably um, in the future will probably do a uh, clothing haul. Probably, I'm not sure. But guys, thank you so much for watching. I appreciate you if you finished the video. Go ahead and hit the notification bell for more videos like this one and girly stuff. I love pink. And as you see in the background, see you guys and take care of yourself. Okay. Bye-bye.